Ah, are we just in it, I think? This is Gorogoa. I don't really know anything about it. Some people have been anticipating this for five years, apparently. Uh, I see puzzle game and overwhelmingly positive, and that's enough for me. And then I just hop in. What is this? Oh, it's a chapter select. Hanging out in the corner. Yeah, the game just starts. Okay. Sure. It's uh, Gorogoa by Jason Roberts, and I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Well, hello there. What do you do? So he's identifying what he sees out the window. Oh. Is this supposed to represent the elements? Well, there's one of them right there, right? Oh, now what is happening? Can I click on these? No? You can move it. Whoa. That's a trip. I can move the window away, and then we just have this frame. So that's, that seems to be like one of the symbols we saw. It looked like a fire or an element. Okay. Can I stack these? No. Okay. Seems like it might be the same person, suffered a head wound. Should I put him in the window? Nope, can't do that. Oh. You can shift perspective into in on individual frames. Each one separately. He's in a door frame. Do I need to take him to this location? Oh, well, this is a trip. So he's looking for the red fire, if we can call it that. Well, this is a trippy take on a perspective, isn't it? Look at this. So we have like a four panel perspective manipulation puzzle game. Apparently. He's thinking about carrying the... that bowl up the stairs. This is him in the future thinking back. It seems he's gonna get it wounded. Can I go to those stairs? That feels like it's gonna be where he gets hurt or something. It's concerning. Lantern? Oh. Curious about that. Oh, the door is way back here that he can go through.
So now he can't get past this. This door was actually just bricked over. But it was supposed to take him to a garden, so I need to find a way to his, this garden. I can't use that on it. I'm curious about the hole in this one. Huh. Captured a star, put it inside the lamp. So should I look for a star? I don't see one here. Oh, I can zoom in on the actual door frame. Interesting. Oh, I can actually take the frame out. So now I've taken the subject of the of the uh, sign and taken it out of the sign. And then I simply placed it over the photo. I just ripped it out of the sign and put it in reality. And now it is reality. Sure, that's how things work. So we're looking for the green element now, right? We have an apple. Whoa. We have a drain. A drain coming out of what looks like a destroyed church. Boy, this kid has a really happy future. He's thinking back to the dragon. Can I put that over that? I don't think it works that way. Oh, you can keep going closer. Oh. Still not the star, right? That's interesting. I do almost wonder if you're supposed to just find the right texture for the star and zoom in on that. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, previous solution, bird, apple, goes into into the, uh, container. So, what? Come to the painting, becomes doorway, get apple for awakening, it would seem? An eye in the apple? Whoa. Oh. Look at that. Where you move this frame shows a different piece of the dragon. So I can take the apple to the dragon then? And it becomes a green apple. Well, that was unexpected. It's almost a jump scare for a moment, having the eye move, and I'm like, ah, crap, and <laughs> dragging the frame around led to a difference. Did, did the time of day just change here? I think it did. Are we gonna, oh, the star. There we go. Now we have a lantern. Curious about that. Does not change when you move it around. We're looking for the golden one now, which seems to be right here. There's a planter that shapes that shaped like a person pointing in that direction. Uh Happy times for all. 
He seems like he might even be in the same room. He's thinking about the dragon. Dove, fairies, butterfly. Oh. He doesn't have a lantern. Well, I have a lantern. Okay. Oh. Well, that's a... That's interesting. Can I shift the weight of the lantern? This is full of nails. That one's full of pencils. So the, the nails are heavier. Can you somehow make them change? Oh. I mean, probably... Oh, no. Not that easy. Thought I would just change which box had what thing in it. One has nails. Uh. Cotton. And this one's full of rocks. There we go. Cotton's way lighter than rocks, obviously. This fantastical logical system, it actually it actually takes me back to playing like Cube Escape and Rusty Lake. The 2D art and the sometimes moon logic that weirdly makes some kind of sense when it really shouldn't. It's here, buddy. Just take it. Right here. Do I need to light? Oh, yeah. We need to give it light. Well, there it is. Oh. Is that the planter again? No. Took us back to a sign that's pointing with it again, but didn't take us to what we needed. I just ripped a reality out of there somehow. He's thinking back to the planter we saw before, pointing at the sun. Past the sun. Perhaps. Can I just- oh, I can just go there. Sure. Okay, now you're thinking about yourself falling while being on fire like you're in a meteor. Great. <laughs> he captured the moth. We have... Meteor storm? I assumed he was in a... Like a military bombing situation. Another lens. No. It's slowly collecting rocks down there. I can't zoom in on it, though. I wonder how one might reconcile the two. Whoa. No, we were already out here before. Oh, break the moth cage with the rocks. Somehow. They fall into that vase.
It feels logical to try to put the moth container b cage, not cage. What do you even call it when it's just glass? Uh, seems logical to put it under the falling rocks, but the rocks aren't falling out of the panel. What interaction am I missing here? I can't make these lights overlap. Not quite. It flees away if you put them near each other. Meanwhile, there's no interaction on these screens as far as I can tell. Oh, this one will pan. Here we go. This is what I was missing. Other things in the same room. I can line up these. There we go. So I can, I can line up the two scarfs or whatever. But they don't move around. So what am I accomplishing by doing this? Can I transfer from one to the other? This one pans. The top one pans. Can I, can I look at anything besides that one? It's those two spots. What good does this do me? Feels like there's gotta be some kind of rule I haven't grasped yet. Is there any layer I can remove like I have before? Can I go to his thoughts again? There- okay, the thoughts are usable here. I'll get stars around here, right? Whoa, okay, it changes what it is based on where you pan it. It's one of those again. That's a fun idea. Oh. So now the moth is slamming against the wall. But how do I get it to break? Maybe there's a use for this moon. Can't click on it. Can't seem to pan anywhere when I'm in those views. It feels like the important detail is just the star. But all it, all it does is do is make it go against the window over and over again. Uh, which hasn't led to a result. But I can't zoom out. I had a brief thought of like, doesn't that, isn't there a yellow scarf in this view? And then there's a yellow one here and I wonder if I could li line them up to make something happen. But I can't get out of this anymore. I'm stuck inside the constellation thing. Which you would think this would be the key, right? Oh, it's this one. When it's the star, I can zoom out. Okay, so only when it's in the star configuration can I click the zoom out button again. I was trying to figure out how to, how to get the zoom out to happen. Now I can test my idea. Little Rube Goldbergy. What's gonna happen? Oh, it then goes down to green. I see. It's giving me enough time to do this. Line up the green.
Then it falls to blue. Oh, and it falling to blue would then cause it to... Okay. It falling to blue will likely cause it to break the glass. Okay. I thought she was just gonna catch it and it'd be done there, but no. Of course it's for breaking the glass, that's like the whole point. So the moment it falls into this one, we then go back to here quickly. That's a fun idea for a puzzle. And then a shower of glass falls on this poor creature. <laughs> Go back to the star then. We've done it, perhaps? He's still thinking. You go on, oh, into the wing. Oh, right, because that's the element we need. And now I've got it. Hopefully. Maybe. Can I go all the way back to the previous kid? There we go. He's still working on the elements. We have, what, three down? Red, green, yellow. Yeah. Okay. This kid is... multi-layered and uh, introspective at all times. Should I go back in? Have two of him at once. Oh. Temperature reading, sure. That I could put elsewhere, apparently. He's still continually fixated on the dragon. It seems like he has a purpose for specific temperature readings. Oh. That one came out. I'm never sure what to expect. Okay. Oh, can I put it over the hands? Can I, can I mix this with the... Oh. Okay. That separated also. I'm curious if I can combine these in some meaningful way. Oh, now it's a pocket watch. Talking about the different... They're, t they're, t they're talking about compasses uh, pointing at north. Here's one. Now I've changed the time. Which has changed the clock. That is a trip. That is a trip. Okay. Now he is here. I don't think he was here last time, was he? Or was that... It was I, at... I think I was at this angle, so maybe I didn't notice. Oops. Okay, no, it seems to be consistent. You'd hope I could combine the two, because there's two different hands here. They likely don't say the correct thing. Okay. There's also a globe in here. Star with... Oh. That's how you do it. I just need a reminder of the... Oh, God. Uh, yeah, that's why they, that's why they talked about Magnetic North, is because the different things will point at that. So I need, I need a reminder of the direct directions it needs to be facing in. The two basically need to be switched. Blue needs to face this way, that way. Oh. 
Okay, but it's only... But this one's a temperature reading while this one's a compass, so I can make this one face the correct way with the magnet, but I need, I need a heat in order to make this one change direction, right? A heat that would be on this side, I believe. Just the moon, right? Oh, it's also a lens. 